Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. So please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by just hitting the subscribe button. So today I'm going to show you how to purchase extra services from your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So let's say, for example, you've registered um, for um, Microsoft 365 Admin Center or you work in an enterprise environment and you want to purchase extra service like, for example, Microsoft Intune, um, E3 license, E1, E5, so the different Microsoft services that are available. So let me just show you how to purchase that. So let's say that right now we need to go to, first of all, let's go to billing. And here you can see, uh, let's go to your products. And here you see I only have the Office 365 E5 trial, which of course I have is it's only valid for one month, but I can as well extend my trial. So let's say I want to purchase um, like E3 license because I don't want to assign E5 license to all my users because um, Office 365 E5 is very, very expensive. So let me say I need to let's go to purchase services. And here you can see we have some options which are being displayed to us like the Office 365, we have the E5, um, E5 as well, if E3, E3, Office E1. But you can decide to actually just click on search if you think that the service you are looking for is not there. So let me just search for E3. And here you can see it's giving me all the E3 options. We have the Microsoft 365, the E3, uh, Microsoft 365, E3 month-to-month -month basis as well which is more expensive, you can see, and we have the Microsoft 365 E3 on unattended on license. So if I scroll down, I have like the E3 for developers, which is more cheaper. We have the E3 license as well, the Office Suite for PCs and Mac with apps for tablet and phone, and we have the month to month. So here we have the Enterprise Mobility plus Security, and let me just click on the details here. So it's trying to compare some of the E3 services which are available right now. So you see, it says we have like, uh, let me just say we have the Enterprise Mobility Plus Security E3. We have the Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. We have the E5 and we have the Microsoft 365 E3 as well. So you can see the difference in price and you can see why the E3, Microsoft 365 E3 is more expensive per user per month so because if i decide to purchase this um enterprise mobility plus security e3 so you can see i will only have the premium p1 which is which also include the azure active directory intune cloud app security and uh, we have the azure multi-factor authentication and for the p2 we have i think just um, the advanced threat protection but if I decide to go for the e Microsoft 365 E3, you can see that I have a lot of options as well compared to the just the E5. Well, let me go back again to let me just let me let, let me go back to my purchase services and uh, let me search for Office 365. Let me just go to details. And you can see here that right now we have the Office 365 e3 license which of course it includes the license installed on pcs or mac so which means that the users can actually install microsoft office on five pcs or even mac they can as well install it on a tablet phones and tablet users which is five 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 per user but look at the price difference and let's just scroll down a little bit you can see this is 19 euro 31 um euro and we have like 34 euro so 40 cents and 31.50 so if i scroll down here is what makes the difference what makes it very expensive and you can see that in your office 365 e3 i don't have the option to actually use microsoft intune you can see there is no microsoft intune when i go back scroll down i don't have the microsoft intune so i only have it here in these options as well so what I can do actually is for the Office 365 E5 E3, if I want to actually buy this, I can decide to buy it, but I can as well decide to get a free trial as well. So it's, so it's telling me to enter my phone number. So I'm going to first of all choose my country. Let me just choose the country where I'm from. 
So I'm, go I'm going to choose my um, country, which is Belgium, which is plus three two, and I enter my phone number, and then I can decide for to, to say that they should call me or test me. So I'm just going to select test me. So I'm going to receive a test message on my mobile device, which of course I will be required to enter my verification code. So after you enter your verification code, just click start your free trial. So it says confirm, check out, confirm your order and try now. So it says the office is one month term for 25 user users. Just click try now. Order received. Your confirmation number is, so just click continue. So let me go back to my um, licenses and see on my billings. Let me just go to your products. As you can see right now, I have about I have the Office 365 E3 trial license and I also have the E5 trial license as well. So right now I'm just um, assigned 25 license because it's a free trial and it's only valid for one month which of course I can decide to extend my trial and here as well on the E5 I can extend my trial as well so you can see that's well how you purchase additional service in Office 365 so when you try to assign a license to a user so let me just go back to my users again active users and here we have a user without a license let me just say I have um, sales don't have a license and I want to assign a license to sales so let me go to and I just click on the sales on a license and apps and here you can see right now we now have the option to either select to so either select e3 or e5 so because I, I, I believe that um, the sales that do not need the a5 license which of course integrate with your Skype for business and uh, integration and um, I just wanted to only be using the e3 I can decide to just select the e3 and the location is Belgium and click save so right now you can see that the sales now have an E3 license while other users have E5 license and mind you if for example you have users um, your uh, your cloud your office 365 cloud your admin center has been synced with your on-premises what you can as well do is to actually if the users have been synced from on-premises you can as well assign the office 365 license to users which have been synced from on-premises not only users which have been synced from the cloud so if a user works in, uh, in your, your company and the users please say as uh, asked to assign a license you are asked to assign a license to that user first of all you need to migrate the user's mailbox to the cloud and then assign the user the user an office 365 e3 or e5 license so thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and if you have any question concerning office 365 azure active directory microsoft intune please don't forget to send me an email and i'll reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much and see you next time